Burger and the vehicle continue to look good for today's launch. Coming up shortly, the Transporter Erector, or TE, will retract away from, Fal from the Falcon rocket. The TE is the large truss structure you see there standing next to the vehicle. Tanks are pressing for strongback retract. Good call out there. The first stage is connected to a launch mount at the base of the TE, but the TE is hinged and will retract away from the vehicle in preparation for launch. You may hear the TE referred to as the strong back from the launch team, and it does a lot of the heavy lifting in the lead up to launch. It is designed to transport, raise, and support Falcon 9 at the launch pad. The TE is also equipped strong with- Strongback retract has started with umbilicals or flexible lines that are used to route the vehicle's fluids, power, and telemetry from the ground systems to the rocket and payload until Falcon 9 switches to internal power and clears the pad. We don't have a great view of this right now because of the fog, but the clamp arms around the vehicle should be opening up and the and strong back retract uh, should be happening. But at this point in the countdown, both the first and second stages are nearly fully loaded with 1 million pounds of rocket grade kerosene fuel and liquid oxygen. Both the first and second stages should finish propellant loading about a minute apart from each other, with the first stage finishing up at the T minus three minute mark and the second stage finishing at around T minus two minutes. It will be hard to see this morning, but there usually are white clouds that form around the vehicle. These clouds are comprised of the chilled gas above the LOX tank that is vented overboard to maintain pressure in the tanks as needed. And when that vented oxygen mixes with the warmer outside air, it condenses into clouds. Stage one, LOX load is complete. Great call out there. And at T minus 60 seconds, Falcon 9 will be in startup. And this means that the rocket's autonomous internal flight computers will have taken over the launch countdown. After that, just inside of T minus two seconds, we will light the nine M1D engines for liftoff. The payload continues to be healthy and the Falcon 9 team is tracking no issues on the rocket. Weather is still looking green and the range is ready to support RT0 of 529 a.m. Pacific time. And with that, we're proceeding into the last few minutes of terminal countdown. Stage two, locks load is complete. Great call out there, signal, signaling that Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with RP1 and locks. Ground gas closeouts. Through the clouds, you can actually see the white cloud from venting the TE LOX line. Coming up next is Falcon 9 in startup. Falcon 9 is in startup. LD is go for launch. And there you heard the LD give the final go for today's mission. At T minus 38 seconds, all systems are go for launch of Falcon 9. So let's sit back and listen in to the final countdown. T minus 30 seconds. T 
T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. And liftoff of the Falcon 9. Go SpaceX, go NROL 145. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Stage 1 propulsion is nominal. At T plus 35 seconds and counting, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Slick 4E at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. In case you're just joining us, this is the NROL 145 Power mission telemetry nominal. for the National Reconnaissance Office. We just had an on-time liftoff today Falcon at, 9 is supersonic. at 529 a.m. Pacific Time. Coming up next, the vehicle will be passing through max Q, which is the point in the mission profile where the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of aerodynamic pressure. Max Q. Good call out there for Max Q, which again is when the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of aerodynamic stress. Coming up next, we have several events happening in quick succession, starting with MECO, followed by stage separation and SES-1. Main engine cutoff, or MECO, is where all nine M1D engines shut down to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation, which is where the first stage separates from the second stage. Followed by this... MVAC chill. The MVAC engine on the second stage will light, which is called out as second engine start one, or SES-1. SES-1 will last several minutes, propelling the second stage and payload to orbit. In addition to these major events, the fairing halves will separate about 30 seconds after SES-1. So keep an eye out for all of those events coming up in about 30 seconds. And as a reminder, we will not have any views of, of the Falcon 9 second stage or the payload at the request of our customer. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. back ignition. And a good series of back-to-back callouts there, which again were MECO, stage separation, and SES-1. Coming up shortly, we should hear a callout for fairing separation, but as a reminder, we will not be showing it on screen. Fairing separation confirmed. Good call out there. We are currently at T plus three minutes into today's mission. Now the next major milestones coming up in about three minutes from now will be entry burn of the Falcon 9 booster as it continues its journey towards drone ship of course I still love you stationed in the Pacific Ocean. To start the entry burn we will relight three M1D engines which is similar to pumping the brakes to slow down the vehicle as it passes back into Earth's atmosphere. We need to slow down the vehicle to reduce to reduce re-entry forces, which then helps us recover and reuse the first stage. Nominal trajectories. Reusability is key to lowering the cost of spaceflight, which enables more investments in critical space infrastructure. 
the Falcon 9 first stage that is supporting today's mission is performing, will be performing the upcoming entry burn for its 12th time today. During the entry burn, Falcon 9 is decelerating by firing its Merlin engines, but it's still moving really fast, and this causes the vehicle to fly through Merlin's exhaust gases, also known as the rocket's plume, which deposits a layer of soot on the vehicle's surface. And that soot comes from the carbon-based fuel that Falcon 9 uses, and with each flight, the soot builds up a little bit more on the outside of the vehicle. We should be hearing the call out for entry burn in just about 20 seconds from now. Stage one entry burn startup. Good call out there for entry burn startup. This burn is set to last about 20 seconds and again is slowing down the vehicle in preparation for its final burn and landing. Stage one entry burn shutdown. And there you heard the call out for the completion of Falcon 9, of the Falcon 9 first stage's entry burn. Also in the background, we have a great view of the sunrise. And coming up next will be the first stage landing burn. Stage one FTS is saved. Which should start in about under a minute from Normal now. Normal trajectories. Stage one, transonic. Stage two, FTS is saved. Coming up in the next 10 seconds, we will have the landing burn of the first stage, which is where engine nine will relight. And the landing burn is the final burn of the Falcon 9 booster used to reduce the remaining Stage speed. one, landing burn of the vehicle for a gentle and precise landing on our venture. Stage venture2 terminal guidance. We are now waiting for Falcon 9 to land on our drone ship, of course I still love you, stationed in the Pacific. Stage 1 landing, I'd like to deploy. Landing confirmed. And there you heard the call out for the successful landing of our Falcon 9 rocket. This was the 12th launch and landing for this first stage. As a reminder, we will not be showing any stage two or deployment views at the request of our customer. So with that landing of the Falcon 9 booster, we will be bringing our webcast today to a close. We'd like to thank the NRO for entrusting us with today's back, mission. Shutdown. And we'd also like to thank the range and FAA for their support. If you're interested in more launch coverage, be sure to check out SpaceX.com slash launches and follow at SpaceX on X for the most for the most up-to-date information. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you again soon. Mama is my new baby. She's the best. I want to help you with sleep, and I'm going to choose the Tai Yang Xin Quan Shao Ke Fei Er Yi Sheng Jun. 
知道妈妈总舍不得买给自己，我来买。希望妈妈睡得香，假巴黎。现在就上快点购母亲节太阳星全效克菲尔益生菌，宠爱妈咪超值专区，享各项健康好礼，最高三重送，满五千加送五百二十元购物金。透过中天新闻网 App 下单或输入 CTI 推荐码，每单再减五十元哦。